Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain from Beckley's Canvic Center. And today, we're here to talk to you about a brand new StarCraft travel trailer. For more information about this trailer or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy, but let's get on to this trailer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the 2018 GPS. It's a 270 BHS by StarCraft. The unique thing about this, this is gonna be taking a bunkhouse lightweight travel trailer and they are incorporating a little storage center up in the front. Also notice that they're using the solid step by Lippard for their stairs. The benefit of this over the Moor Ride folks is the fact that this top step has this little extra piece and that's very important when you're walking back out of the trailer. Gives you a nice solid step uh, to plant your foot on. So this front, this front storage thing, it has the ability to put a bunch of different items up in this area. So now you can bring your bikes or whatever you'd like. There's a nice little area, they already have it. It's air conditioned up here. They've got everything in here. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's, get things, outlets in here. This actual door right here so that you can get to the batteries, which will be down below. So as you're going down the side, you're gonna, of course you're gonna notice the, how long the awning is. You have the outside lights, the, the LED lights. Of course, it is a power awning. Again, we're gonna have the solid step here. Now, another unique feature on this particular one is the fact that you're gonna have a 100 gallon fresh water tank. Of course, because this is the bunkhouse, of course, you're gonna have the, the windows over the bunk beds back in the back. Notice it is a crowned roof, so that way there the water's gonna be running off of the roof instead of being a flat roof. Spare tire mounts right back here. So let's get on the inside and take a look and see what we have. So as you come in the door here, you can see it's gonna look like your typical 270 bunkhouse with a nice big slide there. By the way, this is about 33 foot, seven inches, tip to tip, about 6,900 pounds dry weight. As you come in the door right here, this is where your uh, slide control will be, some lights, as well as for your water heater, water pump, check your levels. Of course, in the slide out, you're gonna have, this is gonna be your tri-fold sofa. And of course, your dinette uh, bed will uh, go down to a bed, uh, I'm sorry, your dinette table will be able to go down to a bed as well. Let me show you how this um, sofa works here. So, oh, for the tri-fold sofa, it does make a bed, very comfortable bed as well. But the beautiful thing about having your tri-fold sofa here is the fact even when it's out, you're gonna still be able to get past so that you can get to the bathroom. So all we do is we take the cushions off. This will lift up right here. Notice how the legs are stored right underneath. We're gonna go ahead and pull those out. And then of course we just fold this part down. Now if you wish, you can take those cushions, put them back in the back, but look at all this space that you have to get past here. So that is your tri-fold sofa. In order to put it back away, we're just gonna do just the opposite. We're gonna put that up there lift this bed and by the way you're um you know you have a seven or eight year old child it's light enough for them to even if they wanted to do it themselves and then the cushions go back on and now you have a nice comfy sofa so that's a sofa dinette booth what that does is that table you take off the legs that'll drop down and then these cushions on the end will come into the middle after you drop that table down, and that makes a bed there for you. On the back, you're going to notice how low the bottom bunk is. And then, of course, you have the bed above there, and they have the windows. Your bathroom on the back end, good-sized bathroom. Notice how it's not a very tall lip to get into the shower. But that's a good-sized shower for you. And it has the tub surround and, of course, your skylight. The vent fan in the roof there. And of course you can see you have your sink 
your little medicine cabinet up there. Notice how the toilet paper holder as well as the towel holder are already hung on the door for you. So let's turn around and take a look back through here. So what you're going to have here, of course, you're going to have your pantry right next to your, your refrigerator here. Your typical Dometic RV style refrigerator. Your uh, three burner cooktop, the oven, and a nice good size oven there. And then of course, it is gonna be vented to the outside. And then you have the microwave there. Good counter space here. And then you're gonna have outlets up on either side of that light on your cabinets above. So looking up in the front here, of course you see you have the nice Furion um, TV to pull out and uh, swivel. You also have your AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player down below. And it is Bluetooth capable, has an aux in, as well as a, um, a five volt charging USB port there. Looking into your bedroom here. Now the bed, the bed is 72 inches in length by 60 wide. Of course, cabinets on either side and above it. And of course, you can see how you have the 110 outlets on either side as well as windows. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2018 GPS. It's a 270 BHS by StarCraft. For more information on this trailer or any others, be sure if you call Beckley's, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy, and I'd be glad to help you. Any comments, put those below. Thumbs up if you're liking this information. Also, if there's a particular RV that you would like me to do a, a preview on, by all means, my contact information, as well as the specifications and pricing for this will be down below. But uh, shoot me an email, give me a comment. I have, on Sunday evenings, I have my vlogs coming out, and I cover a variety of different topics. If there's a particular topic you'd like me to uh, talk about, by all means, touch base with me. I have how-to videos as well as product recommendations. So I appreciate you watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.